Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Vedantic and today's reflection is on worrying. Famous hedge fund manager, biggest hedge fund in the world. Um, the founder of it is, his name is Ray Dalio. And Ray used to carve out blocks of time every year to go see Swami, our, our teacher, in the show notes if you want to learn more about uh, Swami. And please, please graduate beyond these episodes to reading Vedanta Treatise. If these speak to you, that book, which he spent over 20 years writing every morning from 4 to 6 a.m., never wrote a, a word after 6 a.m., um, did some light editing, but never wrote a word after 6 a.m., that's where you should go. This is just an on-ramp to that highway of, of this philosophy. But uh, Ray would go and he would chat with, he would go and uh, see Swami. And years ago, I remember Ray famously saying this quote that if you aren't worried, you should be worried. And if you are worried, you don't need to worry. I remember it, it was so paradoxical. If you aren't worried, typically talking to business leaders, but I think this applies to any aspect of life. If you aren't worried, then you should be worried. But if you are worried, then you shouldn't worry. Years later, I would find out that Swami says this. He says, if you aren't worried, you should be. And if you are worried, don't worry. That's his actual quote. Um, so it's, it's hilarious how you can find this, this Vedantic wisdom in the unlikeliest of, of places. Well, it's quite likely that great leaders uh, of you know, hyper-competent people have found timeless wisdom to help guide them. But that phrase and that, that paradoxical approach to worry makes perfect sense in the Vedantic lens, where the Vedantic view is to not be an optimist that's ignorant of the fact that things will go wrong. It's also not to be a pessimist, where you expect things to go wrong. It's to be a realist. It's, as the adage goes, it's not just to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but to see the next tunnel too, to be a realist. And how does that relate to worry? Well, it's really simple. Swami will say often that to expect the worst is to be a pessimist, but to be prepared for the worst, that is to be a philosopher. So when there is something that we're worried about, it should take up some room in our minds, we should dedicate our intellect to chopping up and figuring out what it is we're worried about, understand what we're feeling, and to be prepared for any worst case scenario. But we should not expect it. By design, when you can prepare for that worst case scenario, then you don't need to worry about it anymore. Bertrand Russell had this famous convention that he said, uh, get comfortable with the worst case scenario and then all other cases become more likely. So you understand it, you look it right in the eye of that worst case scenario and you prepare for that. Death will happen, failure will happen. Hopefully you have enough of that early on in life to realize the blessings right on the other side of that. My sister passed away when I was 15. I no longer fear death because of the incredible stress blessings that that had on the other side of it in my life. And I know of others around her or failure. My whole 20s was just failing, failing, failing. And every time it was failing forward, as they say, I was so much smarter. And in many ways, I was getting a PhD in business and life and myself through that exercise that is invaluable. It is the, the foundation upon which all kinds of career successes have taken place. But I don't fear those things anymore because the worst case scenario and a relationship or a business is learning, is some blessing on the other side that requires whatever that worst case scenario might be to take place. A little insight even to my daughters, and that's a big reason that I started this podcast is for them to be able to listen to these. And I know that if I died tomorrow, if I died 30 seconds from now, it would be a teacher to them that perhaps in my current state, I could never be. I know that was the case for me with death early on. I don't mean to get heavy, but on an episode of worrying, it's worth, in an episode where we explicitly say, say to get comfortable with the worst case scenario, it's worth outlining these worst case scenarios. And these are the worst of the worst case scenarios. Most of the things we worry about are, did I get a parking ticket? How am I gonna be able to afford this? Or I hope this doesn't happen in my job. Prepare for those things. Preparing for them, not expecting them. Do not expect them because that is pessimism. 
but to be prepared for them, that is philosophy. And if you worry about them enough to be prepared for them, then you don't need to worry about them. That is today's reflection on the Daily Vedantic. We'll see you next time.